Hello, I'm Ellie Mason. I'm a 16 year old referee for Durham FA. I'm, go I'm level 7 and I'm going for my level 6 promotion. I referee in local grassroots teams, um, men's Sunday league, women's reserves and I am an assistant referee for Northern League men and women. I got into refereeing when I started playing football myself. Um, wasn't really a big fan of football until I was about 11 and then I started playing for a local team who I still play for now. Um, and I just thought it would be fun. Um, kind of a bit of a joke, not like in a jokey way but it was just a bit of something to enjoy. Um, uh, and then my mum found that there was a course in town for referees so I, I did that straight away and I went and completed it and since then it's become more enjoyable and it's um, it is a lot more nerve-wracking because I'm getting higher up and I've got more games and it's pretty much non-stop now um, every weekend week in week out um, but I love it it's it's really enjoyable I'm so glad I started doing it and it's something that I think if you want to do it, go for it. Um, so I'm now going. I'm now going for my promotion. Like I said, just after a season of refereeing, um, and to think I've come so far in just a season is is like it's mind blowing. Um, it just shows that if you enjoy something, you can go far in it. I enjoy meeting new people and making sure that we all enjoy the sport that we're there to kind of like enforce kind of thing so we're here to do a job and and like show the enforce the laws but we're also there to make sure that the kids are enjoying the football and we're all having a laugh um I think it's important to make sure that you bond with the teams and aren't serious all the time and that you actually have a laugh with them because it just makes your job a little bit easier um, and it's really nice to get to know them. Um, yeah, um, But I also love seeing the development of the ages. So you start off at the little ones and then as you progress you get to the higher ages and then you can see they've progressed too you can see how much better they are at playing football and how how the game flows differently and it shows you how much like if you carry on for years you might end up like that as a referee like they've ended up like that as a player after doing it for years you might do the same with refereeing my greatest achievements in refereeing so far is, is joining the ETP or being accepted onto the ETP which is the female emerging talent programme through the FA um, I think this is going to bring loads of different opportunities for me and it's, it's going to develop me as a referee to become better um, but through this I also get to meet loads of loads of referees from all over the country that have the same interests as me um which is really good because you get to know them and become friendly and talk to each other and get the support through them so my support work uh, support ne network in refereeing is is amazing um anyone you can think of is there to support you no matter what so through durham fa everyone's there if you ever need them um, my local RA meetings, um, I can go and ask questions there if I need to and the send people to mentor your games and watch how you're progressing as referees and they'll give you some, some hints and tips on that which is, it's, it's, it's really good because not only are they helping you when they don't know how you're refereeing but they're also helping you develop when they've watched your referee. Um, but I also think the staff and girls from the ETP have helped me massively even though I've only been in there for a few months, since I joined there, it's it's amazing how much support I've ac I've actually gained. Um, having the extra people help and know know me as a referee, and how I've developed, it's just phenom phenomenal. Um, 
uh, yeah, it, and I've got a local. I've got a one-on-one -on -one mentor who's local, so he's he he's there to help when I need it. Message him when I when I ever have any questions or anything like that, which is really good. My goals in refereeing are making it to the top, where I believe I can actually get to. So since I started a season ago, I wasn't very confident with it, and I thought it would only be a weekend job wouldn't get very far but in a season I've got so far and I think if I keep going I'm gonna I'm just gonna get further and further if I keep if I keep progressing the way I am um it is a high target um but I believe if you enjoy something you're gonna stick with it and you're gonna get as high as you can and you're just gonna keep going which I hopefully hopefully I can So confidence, confidence is a massive thing and it's a big obstacle I've had to face. Um, since I started refereeing, um, I've developed my confidence so much um, and because of this my games run, run smoother um, and this is because I'm more confident. Yes, it can be nerve-wracking at times but when you get more confident your, your decisions kind of portray in a better way whether they're right or wrong you sway them a little bit even even though you probably shouldn't um you always want to be getting the right decisions but sometimes it is hard i think confidence is a massive thing if you're confident and get to know the players you just bin build a bond with them and it makes it makes it easier to referee so my biggest advice is be confident don't let anything stop you um, yes it's different for everyone no matter how long you've been refereeing or who you're refereeing it's different because everyone referees in a different way yes yes there's set ways to do it but it's always different um, I just think that no matter what you do make sure you have a laugh and bond with the players um, but know when to be serious as well so you've got you've got the you've got a fine line when to be serious and when to have a joke with them and I think if you do that, you'll bond with them and it makes it makes refereeing a little bit easier. Um, but take every take every opportunity you have with both hands. Um, take everything in your strides, going as slow as fast as you slow or as fast as you would like. Um, I think that if you have the opportunities, take them when you can. Um, you'll only regret it one day if you don't. Um, the opportunities I've had so far is amazing and I think they'll just keep coming the more I get the more I progress. But take it as fast and slow as you want. Um you don't have to race through the promotions. You don't even have to promote. If you'll enjoy it and at the level you're doing it, stick at it. Just just referee. Um if if it's something you want to do and something you think you're gonna enjoy, just do it. Um I think I think it's it's brought me on as a person, not only as a referee, but it's brought me on as a person with everything that I'm doing. So I think it's helped me as a referee because I've met girls that have the same interests as me and are, are around about the same level. Um, and it's not actually something you often come across cross so come across as. Um, so I've worked with a lot of men going on the higher levels but not as many females and I think it's something that needs to needs to um, just happen a little bit more. I think we need to get more females to be a referee and show that not, not only men can do it, we're as good as them kind of thing. Um, I think the support I've had through f uh, the female car is amazing. I know the staff that run the sessions um, give as many opportunities that, as they can and they bring people in along in and along to the sessions that I think are going to help um, which you can't stop thanking them for I know that they're always there to support if we ever need it email away, call away, anything like that um, you've got everyone's support I think if it's something you want to do, do it um, yeah, thank you